The red squirrel is one of our most treasured native creatures, but also one of the most at risk. Now a project is underway which hopes to boost their numbers by providing them with a brand new home in the southwest, one that many of us would envy. Mike Dilger reports. Tresco, an island paradise. With a resident population of just 175 and a garden that boasts some of the world's most exotic species. Now there's to be a new arrival. The red squirrel is coming to stay. A lot of people who are in the know have said that this is the right sort of place for them. They can thrive. Our own trees from California um, have cones on them that the squirrels actually like and we have, we're plentiful in supply. Red squirrels have been driven to the brink of extinction in England by their grey cousins, which carry the squirrel pox virus. It's harmless to greys but deadly to the reds. But there are no grey squirrels anywhere on Scilly. We'll have to wait and see how it all goes, but we're very hopeful that they've got plenty of space, plenty of food supply, and they'll, they'll naturalise quite quickly. David Hamilton is the Abbey's vegetable gardener. He'll be in day-to-day -day charge of the project. I'm really excited. Um, for me, this is when the real project kicks off properly, and um, hopefully it's going to be a, a success story, obviously for us and also for the red squirrel. Oh, perfect. They're very nice, and they're much lighter than the other ones that we had. Yeah. The squirrels will be coming to Tresco in VIP style. We've been in touch with the RAF, and they're very kindly, as part of a training exercise, going to be bringing us over from um, Helston in Cornwall. So we're driving straight up that morning from, from Surrey, straight up to Coldrose. We'll be into the helicopter, and within 25 minutes, we'll be landing on Tresco and putting them in a much more serene environment. This has been the squirrel's home until now, the British Wildlife Centre in Surrey, which runs the UK's biggest red squirrel breeding programme. David Mills is the owner. You have to be very, very careful with red squirrels because they are prone to stress. So the actual boxing of them is going to be done by my head keeper who works with them all the time, plus his assistant, because they do stress out and you know, they can die of heart failure and we don't want any of that to happen. You're gonna take that? You're gonna just sit there on my and, and well, what are you going to do? Okay, well, goodbye. It's the day of the collection. Mike and Dave have arrived with 20 boxes to fill. They've got their whole staff out looking after us. They've um, filled them with um, bedding, they've put food in, and apparently that's going to be fine. We're going to cover them with a blanket as we drive because the They'll snuggle down for the night and then hopefully tomorrow we'll be coming over to Tresco with them. It's a delicate, careful process with the squirrel's welfare the number one priority. So that's one of the red squirrels we caught up, so we're going to just transfer her into this box now. That's easier said than done, as the squirrels are allowed to venture into the boxes in their own good time. Yes, no, got it. Hang on, hang on. Take two. <laughs> Definitely got it. It takes four hours, but they're finally all ready to go. We'll take good care of them. I hope so. Thank you. Mike, Dave and 20 red squirrels start the 350 mile journey to Cornwall. Didn't know we're doing that. But there's a setback. Bad weather set in, delaying the flight. Leaving the squirrels stuck in their boxes longer than anyone expected. I was very concerned. We've been keeping in touch with the British Wildlife Centre. They're animals that get stressed very easily. But 24 hours later, the weather's cleared. And at RNAS Coldrose, it's all hands on deck to get the squirrels to Tresco, pronto. And there are some encouraging signs. As we've been carrying them around, there's a bit of scurrying in the boxes, so they're, they're aware something's going on. 
it's all systems go. Even the pilot lends a hand with this precious cargo. Thirty minutes later, and they touch down safely on Trasco. Once the helicopter's gone, Tresco's usual peace and tranquility is restored. Certainly the finishing touch to our squirrel cage now, actual squirrels. With the shelter and food put in place, it's then a waiting game. Oh, maybe not. Say hello to your new home. That's a result, isn't it? That's the first one. Oh, wonderful. It's made it all worth it now, really, isn't it? All that, all those problems, but they're actually here now. And as you can hear, running around the enclosure, in two days time, that's got freedom on Tresco. So this is quite a special moment, isn't it, really? After their long journey, they're left to settle down, locked in the enclosure for two days. And with the first one out, Mike and Dave just have to hope the others will follow suit. It's the day of the release and the culmination of all Mike and Dave's hard work. Oh goodness, look at that. Certainly plenty of activity here. <laughs> Seems oh, like goodness. there's hundreds of them in there. When I fed them this morning, it's very difficult to count them, but um, I counted about six times. I came with the same figure and it was 17. Lucy Dorian Smith, whose family leases the island from the duchy, has the honour of opening the cage. And the very first and bravest squirrel ventures out. Up and away. It's, it's taken a while, hasn't it? Um, and it's really nice because they are so vigorous, these squirrels. They're, we've opened the door, they're coming out. But they're not as keen as I thought. They're still mostly in there. Sort of, finding their surroundings, but it's been a great journey and I think we're really looking forward to now the next year or two to see how they breed and how they get on. Oh look at that, isn't that great? Whizzing down the path, I'm out. Sadly, two of the squirrels died in transit, but with the delay, having 18 survive was better than anyone expected. Only time will tell if they'll like it here enough to breed, the hope is that Tresco will then offer them a valuable sanctuary in their fight for survival.